Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. Las Vegas police released body cam video of the October 17th car crash involving Governor Steve Sisolak. Review Journal's Renee Semerauer shows us what happened. Renee? Jen, on the police video, a first responder could be heard telling officers that the governor is sitting behind the car over here right after the accident occurred. It's going to end up being a whole media circus. That's how the governor felt while sitting on a parking curb next to the damaged Lexus. The two-car collision happened at the intersection of South Rainbow Boulevard and West Russell Road. Governor Sisolak and another driver received minor injuries. While sitting on the curb, Governor Sisolak told officers what happened. I had to flash in Amber Arrow. You know, to go left? Oh, yeah, the left. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was flash Like arrow. yield on yellow? Yeah. So I just edged out just a little bit. I didn't see any cars coming, and this thing hit me so hard, I can't even tell you. Governor Sisolak was taken to the hospital with minor injuries and released the same day. The governor was also issued a failure to yield to oncoming traffic citation. The second driver, a 30-year-old woman, received a speeding citation. For the full video, log on to LVRJ.com. Jen. Thanks, Renee. And on the heels of Las Vegas police reporting a rise in fentanyl deaths, sadly another one to report tonight. 21-year-old Arya Styron is facing murder and drug charges for allegedly selling counterfeit prescription pills, which police say killed 21-year-old Adriana Folks. Next to her body, police say investigators found drugs that later tested positive for fentanyl. What an eventful year for the Raiders. Accounting irregularities also led to the departure of three team executives in July, including President Mark Bedane. That's according to team owner Mark Davis. He says the team made a tax overpayment that it would not necessarily be able to get back because of a statute of limitations. Bedane declined to comment. A spike of burglaries in Sun City, Summerlin. At least 72 reported from April 1st to October 1st. Sheriff Joe Lombardo says three people were arrested and three more suspects identified. This is one of those things where um, neighborhood watch type programs are beneficial to those close-knit neighborhoods and, and close associated neighborhoods because um, especially in the senior communities where people are perceived easily as a victim. The sheriff says residents should expect increased police patrols at least through October. In Health, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. Mountain View Hospital has launched Nevada's only blood and marrow transplant program. These transplants use stem cells to treat patients with blood cancers and other blood disorders. Having a transplant program in Nevada is important because it allows doctors to carefully monitor patients. A transplant is a very complicated procedure and this way doctors can, can watch for post-transplant complications, for example. One expert says about 150 patients leave Nevada each year for a blood and marrow transplant. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. A major mixed-use project is in the works across from the UNLV campus. G2 Capital Development hopes to break ground next year on the 3.4-acre site along Maryland Parkway. The project is slated to have retail, residential, and office space, with a cost between $180 and $200 million. Plus, helping inmates get back into society. Las Vegas police held a resource fair for those who will soon be leaving the Clark County Detention Center. What we're trying to do is give inmates the opportunity to sit down with community partners and get the help that they need before they actually get released. Set up that plan for their re-entry back into our society so they're successful. Inmates received guidance on job training, housing, and getting basic needs like identification documents. In weather, sponsored by One Hour Air, no matter the season, no matter the reason, one hour's here for you. A warm night with temps still in the 70s should dip into the 60s by the overnight hours. On to your Friday, looking nice and sunny with a pleasant high of 82 and low of 57 degrees. 
Then on your Halloween weekend, expect partly cloudy skies with highs lingering in the 80s and lows in the 50s. Nice trick-or-treating weather. On Monday, we're back in the 70s. In your lifestyle news, the Golden Knights bring food to the hungry. The Knights organization teamed up with City National Bank and Foley Family Wines to deliver $10,000 worth of food to Lincoln Elementary School in North Las Vegas. Foley Family Wines is owned by Golden Knights owner Bill Foley. Now to your sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. Raiders defensive end Yannick Ngakwe has been named the AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Ngakwe recorded two sacks, two pass deflections, and four tackles in the Raiders' win over the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday. He joins fellow Raiders defensive end Max Crosby as Conference Defensive Players of the Week. The Raiders, Bills, and Cardinals are the only teams this season to have multiple players earn the honor. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Kansas City Chiefs are in last place in the AFC West and in a major slump against the spread, going 4-14 in their last 18 games. After starting this season as co-favorites with Tampa Bay to win the Super Bowl, Kansas City is now the 16-1 8th choice at BetMGM. Likewise, Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes started the season as the clear favorite to win the NFL MVP award, but has now skyrocketed to the 40-1 10th choice at the Westgate Super Bowl. For more details, read Todd Dewey's column on the Chiefs at ReviewJournal.com. In Entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverYourNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. The World Series of Poker attendance is down, but optimism remains high. WSOP Vice President says the main culprit was international travel restrictions. However, with the restrictions set to ease, WSOP is adding two opening flights to its main event in November. For all you foodies, La Strega, which means the witch in Italian, will host a special four-course Halloween dinner on Saturday for $125. The Strat is introducing its new dinner and show packages from $55 to $175. On November 7th, the Jewish Food Festival is set to return at Tivoli Village free of charge. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here for more 7 at 7 tomorrow. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.